Hello and welcome to uh, my server 2008 videos. My name is Seth and today we're going to be uh, showing you how to set up and configure a server 2008 core um, edition uh, get it up and running. As you can see I just installed the servers and I just logged in and there's nothing here. Um, it is uh, it's completely blank because it's the core edition is basically like DOS based okay so the first thing that we would need to do is um, reset the admin password okay so in order for us to do that you need to type net user administrator star and says type the type of password okay we're gonna have to retype it there you go and that's how you reset the administrator password alright so the next thing we're gonna do is set the time and date and so on and so forth okay okay so what we need to do now is um, run this command here um, it's essentially the time date at CPL command but that it, those files are located in the system 32 directory so what we need to do is switch over so from your DOS prompt from your home direct uh, you uh, from your DOS prompt you would type in cd forward slash windows from here type in system32 okay now from here what you need to do is look for you need to um, do a dir do a search for CPL files. There we go. As you can see, there's um, date time dot CPL. So I'm going to type time date dot CPL, and there we go. So we're just going to have to make sure everything looks okay. So you can change that here if you want to. Remind me. Change time zones. Okay. And everything looks okay. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give this server the static IP address um, because we're going to be setting this up as a domain controller. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for that, what we need to do is um, switch over to our interface um, card, and we need to see what our interface card number is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, give this a static IP by going to the net shell command, which is in, which is net sh. Then I'm going to say give me the um, interface. And then I'm going to say give me the IP version 4. If I say show IP, it tells me right now that um, it's DHCP and uh, this is the IP address that I have now so now what I need to do is change that to static so the command we're going to run is um, set address and the well before you know before I do that let me say show interface okay so it tells me that the interface um, 2 is the local area connection Okay, so now that we set up the um, static IP, let's go ahead and verify it. I'm going to say show IP, and there we go. As you can see, it set up the IP address for me. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is um, rename the PC. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type exit here. So if you, if you do percent computer name percent although it says not recognized but you can see it gives you the computer name which is win dash he2 well it did give us the computer name so now what we need to do is 
um, use the net dome command, which is network domain command. So it'll still work on here. So type net dome space rename computer. And we're going to do this percent. Instead of you typing it in, you can do computer name percent forward slash new name colon and I'll call this core 08 okay we're gonna hit enter and it says um, certain service such as a certificate blah 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 yeah that's fine we're gonna hit yes hit enter and now um, it said command completed successfully so now we've set up our um, date and time we've set up our uh, static IP addresses and we set up our computer name those are the basic things you need before you run uh, DC promo okay so now we're gonna go ahead and shut this down so you do shut down forward slash R forward slash D and then say um, zero for time mean basically meaning don't wait for me so you go ahead and shut this down so when it comes when this comes back up I'll go ahead and um, repause the video or unpause the video and we'll start from there okay okay so now that I rebooted and came back in um, what I did was um, we need to see which roles are already installed meaning which roles are accessible for us to configure so for that you can do use the OC list command um, OCS setup OC list those are very similar to the server um, the server manager window that opens up so I'm gonna hit uh, OC list and this is gonna scroll through and tell me what services are installed and what services are not installed and the features and so on and so forth so if you come down here um, and look at this it'll say so DNS okay so DNS dash server dash core dot role is uh, uh, installed that means we, we can um, not install I'm sorry as you can see we, we can go ahead and uh, it's not installed yet well we need to install this role so we can set up DNS first and so then we can run DC promo okay so I'm gonna scroll this down and I'm gonna go ahead and before I do this DNS dash server dash core dot role okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run this command so I'm gonna type OC as setup DNS dash server dash core dash and what was that? Core dash roll. Okay. Now we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna set up DNS for us, okay? So now that I did this, let's go ahead and type OC list. Okay, and now, as you can see, DNS server role is um, installed. It doesn't have the not in front of it, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> I believe we have um, all the necessary things available. What I did was, uh, when the video was pa paused, I created an answer file, which is going to help us run the um, DC promo on installation uh, unattended uh, installation and what you can do is <coughs> you can uh, run task manager say new notepad and uh, close that out say file open and if you go to the desktop uh, there is a text file here if I click on OK so this is the text file I created and I call this unattend so we're going to come here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type dcpromo.exe forward slash unattend and then the file name is unattend I'm just going to go through install the services Alright, now it's shutting down and rebooting and it's going to restart.